What's up everyone? If it's your first time here, I am Troxel and on this channel we are looking to hit 500 subscribers. If you can hit that thumbs up, click that subscribe button and that notification bell, we can hopefully get there. We have a quarterback to carousel. Cue that intro. It's showtime. Today, the Detroit Lions cut David Blau and signed Nate Sudfeld less than 24 hours of the initial 53-man roster, which had David Blau making the 2022 Detroit Lions roster. Now, let's get into a little bit of stats. Nate Sudfeld had a career 67.6 .6 completion percentage for 188 yards, one touchdown, and one interception, with a stat that I personally don't like, but I know some of you do. He did have a 77.3 QBR. Now, on the flip side, David Blau has a career 54.3 completion percentage, 1,033 yards, four touchdowns, seven interceptions. And again, a stat that I personally don't like, but I know some of you do, a 62.2 QBR. Now, here is my thoughts following the stats. Okay, I'm usually a guy that gives Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, the benefit of the doubt. I cannot give Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes the benefit on the doubt with this move. Nate Sudfeld, I've watched him play in the San Francisco 49ers. I've watched him play with the, uh, with the Philadelphia Eagles. I've watched him play with the Houston, or I'm sorry, with the Washington Commanders. I've watched him play, okay? Now, for those of you that don't know me on Troxel's football streams, and this is this might be your first time meeting me, I am a Lions diehard, then I am a Cardinals fan, then I am a Steeler fan. So in that exact order, number one team, Detroit Lions, number two team, Arizona Cardinals, number three team, the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that out the way, I've watched, as a Cardinals fan, watch my arch rival, the 49ers, played Nate Sudfeld. Did not impress me at all. In fact, I was like, oh, we got Nate Sudfeld. Let's go. We about to win this game. Did not impress me. And as a person that, you know, hates the Cowboys, because, you know, obviously we still have that bit of rivalry. We're still one and one in the playoffs. I've seen the Philadelphia Eagles. And I clearly remember Doug Peterson getting fired because he wanted to see what Nate Sudfeld brought. Guess what he brought? An L, and no, not for Lions. A loss, something that, yes, our Lions do know all too well, and we are trying to move forward, and instead of losses, instead of lessons, as I call them, because I don't believe in losses, I believe in lessons to be learned, and... With that said, we can start getting ourselves into a winning predicament. I want to win. At the end of the day, that's what these players are graded on. What is Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell doing? You put Mark Brunel in a, oh crap, kind of situation. Like literally, like are you kidding me? In fact, this is what I said exactly when this news broke and I seen it. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Yep. No! What are we doing? What are we doing? Nate Sudfeld, a guy that gets coaches fired or gets himself fired, does not move the needle. You can throw all these other preseason stats on my comment section i don't care at the end of the day when the regular season matters he does not win i want winners if jared goff goes down our season is done i don't want that ha to happen what did what happened when the philadelphia eagles carson Wentz went down they put in nick Foles. nick Foles carried that franchise in the postseason to win a Super Bowl. And not only did he do that, guess what else he did? He won the Super Bowl MVP. Most valuable player 
in the Super Bowl, that's what Nick Foles did. Now, I'm not saying go out and go get Nick Foles, but hey, you had a chance to go get Gardner Minshew. Minshew Mania could have ran wild in Detroit. Yeah, I mean, he has a little bit of flashiness to him, a little bit of aura to him, but hey, we got our buffs. We got our swag. We welcome swag. And guess what else Minshew Mania brings? Winning. What does Nate Sudfeld bring? Absolute zero value. Does not move the needle in a positive direction. Now, you can say, well, David Blau this, David Blau that. Okay. In the five games that he played in 2019, he still had almost 1,000 yards. With no run game, you handicapped the quarterback. And then on top of that, look at the preseason game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. We'll go We'll go with my 13, okay? Because I, on this channel, we're not biased. But I'm going to give it to you 100. We're going to keep it a buck. David Blau, with easy trying to kill the man, still improvised. Still tried to move the ball. And guess what he did? He improvised not once, but twice on that drive. One that Godwin Ikebike for what? A 17, 18 yard gain for the first down. And then again in the end zone for the touchdown. He embodies what Detroit is about. Yeah, we don't have the flashy cards. Yeah, we don't have the, the oh, we have the goat. Oh, we have this. Oh, we have that. We don't have that stuff. But guess what we do have? We have men that fight for everything we get. We're blue collar, hardworking, bring our hard hats, our steel toe boots, and let's go. That's what we bring. What does Nate Sudfeld bring? I would rather cap David Blau and go sign Carson Strong as a third quarterback. Maybe throw Carson Strong at the at on the practice squad. Develop him, develop Carson Strong to replace David Blau eventually. Okay, that I'm cool with. That's forward thinking. But to cut a guy who technically has better stats for a guy that gets himself or his head coach fired, I can't stand with that. That is not winning football. Winning football is, hey, if Jared Goff goes down, I got a backup plan already on the roster that knows our roster, that knows this, that knows that. I don't have to... I don't have to baby him. Now with Nate Sudfeld, we're going to have to baby this kid if Jared Goff goes down. How is that winning football? How is that winning football? Ask yourself, how is that winning football? It's not. We have got to stop doing this stuff. I agree. Jared Goff, that's Brad Holmes' guy. That's my quarterback. That's the guy I'm going to root for. Please, God, don't go down. Because if you miss even one snap, our ball game could be done. Let alone our season if you miss time. I have zero confidence in Nate Sudfeld. Now, hey, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. But right now, I want everybody in, in that watches this video, put hashtag FNS. Forget Nate Sudfeld. Now, you can use the other word for whatever word you want. But on this channel, we keep clean. So forget Nate Sudfeld. Hashtag FNS. Forget this man. Cut him. Get rid of him already. Fail your physical. Do whatever. But you cannot be on this roster. Now, he is on the roster. That gets me heated. As you can see, I'm starting to sweat. But please, God, get him off the off this roster. Hey, do something where he he fails his physical and Dave Blau gets right back on the team. I'm okay with Jared Goff, David Blau. I'm okay with that because I don't have to baby David Blau if he has to come in. I don't have to hold his hand. I don't have to tailor an offense around him. Oh, he doesn't have a strong arm. Oh, he doesn't have this. Oh, he doesn't have that. I don't need to tailor anything around David Blau. Nate Sudfeld, it's all tailored. Only thing that I like on Nate Sudfeld is he's six foot six and David Blau is six foot one. I like taller quarterbacks. 
You know, Jared Goff is six foot four. I, I'm okay with that. That's like my borderline. Anything less than six foot four, I'm like, well, I wish he would be an inch or two taller because, you know, with these six foot seven offensive linemen, I can see over them. So that's the only thing that I like about Nate Sudfeld. Other than that, what are we doing? Absolute zero value. If it's one move I hate, and yes, I use the word hate, is this move right here. I'm okay with with drafting players. I'm okay going out an undrafted free agent, picking up players. I'm okay going in free agency. I'm okay making trades. But they have to make sense. Make it make sense, Brad Holmes, please. Because this move right here has zero sense to it. You took a step back. You took a step back, Brad. Now, I mean, I am the only Detroit Lions YouTuber that spoke Brad Holmes into existence. He was my dark horse. Don't believe me, go on any big time YouTuber's channel. You will see my dark horse was Brad Holmes. I'm the one that spoke this guy into existence. So you bet your bottom dollar, I'm gonna be the first one to rip him up. You, you got your first half, Brad. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna end this video on. Make it make sense because it has zero sense to it. You took a step back. David Blau, yes, might be shorter, but guess what? He was better than Nate Sudfeld. Now, I get it. You're going to try to bring him on your practice squad. Whoop-dee-doo. But guess what? If he's not protected on your four protected uh, uh, players during that week, a team could come and take David Blau. Then what are you left with? A wax city, Nate Sudfeld. Thank you so much for watching. Terribly sorry about my first rant on this channel. With that being said, if you haven't done all that fun stuff like thumbs up, subscribe, and that bell, definitely do so. We are on the road to 500 subscribers by the week six by week. And with that being said, this is Troxel. Have a wonderful day. Hashtag FNS. And I'm out. Peace.